Before I get started with this video, I just want to say this video is not sponsored by Blue Apron or any other recipe or delivery box service of any kind. So I'm going to start getting into cooking by using Blue Apron. The key thing that I need to do is to get into the habit of cooking. That is, the point of ex the experience is not to create the perfect meal every night, it's to just start cooking anything. I need to learn the skills that will let me expand my repertoire, I need to learn how to make cooking something that I do routinely, and all this means that I need to do something, anything, that I can to eliminate any steps that might get in the way and cause me to not cook. And Blue Apron will include a forcing function that will make me do so. Blue Apron is helpful on a number of fronts. First, I've got all the food I need to actually make a recipe pre-packaged and gathered for me. There's no shopping, and most importantly, no trying to buy everything, and then realizing that the vegetable oil that I thought I had actually turned to sludge because I'd been sitting unmoved in my cabinet since the last nine months and then having to give up on the whole recipe because I didn't have the one thing I need. This drastically changes the potential risk of getting flummoxed in meal prep. Second, I've got all the ingredients I need gathered in one place. There's no need to dig through the cabinet to find that bottle of cardamom that I didn't buy because I just know I have it somewhere among the 56 other spices I have and never use. The ingredients all come together and I know that I'm going to have what I need in one place, making my mise en place quite easy. Third, the recipes are pre-selected. I don't have to do any thinking if I don't want to about the meals I'm going to get. I just take whatever is given. It removes any cognitive load on actually making a decision and simplifies the process. And finally, this food is going to keep coming and I'm going to keep paying for it as long as I don't do anything. So this forcing function, having meals show up and then have a limited time where I either make them or lose out on that meal. So as both someone who dislikes food waste and dislikes wasting money, I hope that this will help me actually force me to put in the effort to get things done. So I'm fully willing to acknowledge that Blue Apron is not the best way to cook for everybody or perhaps even for me in the long term. Everyone who has experience in meal prep will tell you the ways that Blue Apron is subpar. For example, the recipes are nothing really special. They're fine. They're just nothing that's going to knock anyone's socks off. The ingredients are not outstanding. For folks living in the broad swaths of the U.S. that are food deserts, I'm sure they're great, but living in a dense urban area, there's no question that I have better food options within walking distance, much less driving distance. And third, the environmental impact of this convenience is kind of significant. Shipping individually packaged and sized food and packaging meant to protect it through like mail and keep it safe in transit is problematic for a whole bunch of reasons and no matter how many environmentally friendly they try to make it. There's also a significant cost to the convenience you get from these meal plan offerings. While Blue Apron is still cheaper than some of the ordering in every night that I do, bulk buying is far cheaper once you're set up for it. With all that said, the benefits of Blue Apron for my particular needs, which is to just cook, far override the problems. Without a forcing function like this, it's entirely possible that I just won't be able to get started cooking at all because I'll keep saying I should go to the grocery store and then never go. So I bought in on Blue Apron. I'm hopeful. It's a new year and I'm committed to giving this my best shot. And I think that Blue Apron, or if not Blue Apron, one of the other 73 delivery box subscriptions out there, may be the best way to get started on actually cooking things. A way to actually be forced to cook and practice the skills that I need to get better so I can easily make real meals once I have the experience, have that knack down. Blue Apron's not the perfect cooking experience for everybody. It may not even be long term the perfect cooking experience for me, but I am hopeful it will be enough to get started on cooking and get over the hump that I've been in for years of only doing takeout. We'll see how it goes.